welcome to viewer request number three in this episode we'll cover the use of cultivated plants and animal products in cosmetic beauty products in ancient history. This was requested on YouTube by the user Anthony Jim. Thank you for the suggestion. Let's start off with the beauty products of the Greco-Europeans. As mentioned in my herbal bath video, they used hot and cold baths and steam rooms to improve the physique of their bodies, both in ancient Rome and ancient Greek. But different extracts of different plants were used to beautify themselves as well. Roman women, for instance, used walnut extract to darken their hair, and the herb antimony as eyeshadow. Rome made use of both the knowledge obtained from ancient Greece and ancient Egypt to further, to further the pursuit of the ideal body. Figs became popular when Carthage was conquered. The face mask made with figs, banana, oatmeal, and rose water was used to improve the look of someone's face. Other face masks used to achieve the same goal of removing wrinkles included a mixture of beans and butter ground together with cypress, cedar, and various trees used for making incense was also used to remove wrinkles. After the fall of Rome, the cosmetic industry diminished quite substantially until around 1100, when information surrounding cosmetics and medicine was rediscovered, rediscovering and building upon what was left from Rome. During the 17th century, one of the biggest important factors in beauty was whitening the skin and covering scars related to smallpox. Lead carbonite was the most common way of achieving this. It was often mixed with seed oil to be applied to the face. A lip cosmetic was also made, combining Arabic gum with egg white and fig milk to make a form of lipstick. But there's a greater history in terms of the Middle East, which we'll cover next. In ancient Egypt, the pharaohs made heavy use of different materials to enhance their facial or body features. Outside of the perfumes, such as different types of pine, again covered in my perfume history video, other methods were also used. Creams made from fruit acids, such as sugarcane, mango, apples, and other such fruits with peels, were used by the rich and royalty as a means of treating wrinkles. Other methods were a mixture of incense, wax, and freshly squeezed olive oil and cypress all combined with fresh milk which was applied to the face for six days. Based on what evidence is available, face masks were used by the ancient Egyptian females as far back as 69 BC. Insert joke here. The Arabian cultures that came afterwards were also influenced by Egypt, as well as the various Roman, Persian, and medieval European cultures, as well as the Ottoman Empire. Avicenna, was one of the most common namesakes of various herbal texts from the Middle East, creating a wide variety of different herbal remedies and cosmetics. One holdover from ancient Egypt is the heavy use of creams, using similar methods and a wider variety of different plants, such as the addition of lemons, oranges, and cucumbers, and even honey to improve their face cream. Another common property of Arabian cosmetics in the herbal sense was henna, a vegetable dye made from the tree species Lassia enormis. The acid, known as napivioquinone, is used to dye fabrics and hair reddish brown, lasting up to 8 to 12 weeks. Powdered indigo is also mixed into this cosmetic to hide gray hairs by creating a blue black shade. Well, that all covers everything. Thank you for watching.